Hello everyone, welcome to the lab. In this episode we have Agilent E4418B power meter for repair. I picked it up on eBay as non-working and indeed it does not power up. As you can see it is plugged in and it is in standby mode. And if I press this power button nothing happens. So let's take a look inside. Here it is inside. This is a power supply, which must be at least partially working, because we have seen that standby LED on the front panel next to the soft power button. And I could hear a fan running, which is here. The main board is on the bottom of the unit. And uh, this is one channel power meter. There are two channel versions of this. So one slot here must be for another board like this. And there is one more slot for some other option. I'm not sure which one. And here we can see a cable from a power sensor connector on the front panel. And optionally it can be installed here on the back. There are two covered holes. And this RF can is for the reference output on the front panel. Which is 50 megahertz and I believe 1 milliwatt of power. I started checking and found that this lithium battery is dead. Almost zero volts. So I think we should replace it first before doing anything else. It might be the reason the meter does not start up. Here is the bottom of the unit and here is the battery so we can easily desolder it. I desoldered all three pins, which was not very difficult using my paste desoldering station. But the battery does not want to come out. It must be glued down or something. I managed to pass this zip tie under the battery, so I can pull it up. Let's see how that works. Yes, this worked. Here it is. Panasonic lithium battery, 3 volts. I soldered a pair of wires instead of the battery and I'm providing 3 volts from this power supply and no, it did not help. Something else must be wrong. I see voltage is marked here. Let's check. This must be common. Negative 12. No problem, 5 volts, fine, positive 12, slightly lower, but most probably not a problem. I took the front panel apart, which was a bit tricky, and I traced connections uh, to this power button. There are two separate lines going to this connector pins 10 and 11 here and there are two vias right next to the connector and I shorted these two vias with tweezers and the instrument powered up just fine. I connected the display. Let's try powering this thing up. There you go. So, there must be some problem with this keypad. I connected the keypad and look at this. It seems to work now. And before taking this front panel apart, I tried reconnecting this connector a couple of times and I tried uh, blowing the dust out of it with compressed air. It didn't help. So I don't like this very much. Perhaps something is intermittent. Maybe a broken uh, connection in this flat flex or somewhere else in this keypad. But at the moment I cannot reproduce the problem. Here is a replacement battery from DGK. It is not Panasonic but FDK. Should be exactly the same size and configuration of pins. Let's install it. Checking the voltage just to be sure. 
No problem. The front panel is partially back together and still working. And now the front panel is back together completely and still working fine. The instrument is back together and here I have a good old HP 8482A power sensor. Let's give it a go. The sensor is connected to the reference output. Uh, let's calibrate it. First we do zero. Then cal. And now if we turn on the reference output, there you go, exactly 0 dBm. And for now I ignored the calibration constants marked on the sensor. For this simple test it should be good enough. I believe the instrument is working fine. Thanks for watching. Bye.